Hugh, serious storm damage. That's what some people are dealing with this morning. Uh, yesterday's intense summer storms toppled trees and knocked out power to people, particularly in Dodge County. Our Jonah Kaplan is heading up that way this morning. Jonah, how bad is the damage there? Well, we just got into Dodge County here, and uh, I, I would say, you know, as the sun comes up, the damage not so visible, but at least on the eastern part of the county. But as we head out west, that's where we understand the storm damage reports are much more severe. If you take a look at the video that we took yesterday from the town of Columbus, where you could see several farms flooded homes. You could even see some of the cows kind of standing in what looked like pools of water instead of their normal fields. The city of Columbus Official Center did declare a state of emergency, uh, about 1,200 people out of power, Columbus Power and Light, uh, talking to people and warning them that it could be at least till this afternoon before power is restored. Uh, the Red Cross has set up a disaster relief area for uh, the people who could not get to their homes last night. There are power lines down, and uh, we did speak with some individuals earlier as well talking about how crews are coming in from uh, other parts of Wisconsin, from Wapen area to uh, some of the other towns surrounding Dodge County, uh, trying to put together uh, these power lines back and try to restore a sense of normalcy for the people living there. Uh, again, the state of emergency called for the city of Columbus. We hope to be there shortly uh, to show you uh, fresh pictures of some of the cleanup and damage there. Vincent Susan. All right, Jonah, thanks very much. It's fine.